world's most mysterious pictures ever taken. The unexplained pictures. This picture remains unexplained, it reportedly shows a ghost on the top of the lighthouse and has been seen on a number of occasions nobody believed Doris Bither. She was a constantly drunk mother who abused her children because she herself was once abused. However, everything changed when several paranormal investigators decided to sit in a room to watch her struggle with the entities she claimed haunted her. When Doris asked a few paranormal investigators to observe her, they were skeptical at first but eventually agreed. Sure enough, Doris suddenly began cursing at three unseen entities. Suddenly auras began forming around her. A mysterious green mist began swirling around Doris. One of the investigators fainted. No one knows exactly what happened. The Martian Spherules In 2004, the Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity had already detected curious blueberry-shaped microscopic formations in the Martian soil, but a much stranger picture was taken by Opportunity at the end of 2012, depicting bigger spherules in larger numbers. Suggested to be made of hematite, a possible sign of the past presence of water, scientists are still uncertain of what these things might be. The Babushka Lady Babushka Lady is a nickname for an unknown woman present during the 1963 assassination of President John F. Kennedy who might have photographed the events. She was seen to be holding a camera and was also seen in film accounts of the assassination. Even though the shooting had already taken place and most of her surrounding witnesses took cover, she can be seen still standing with the camera. She never came forward. The police and the FBI did not find her, and the film shot from her position never turned up. The Hest Dallin Lights The Hest Dallin Light is an unexplained light usually seen in the Hest Dallin Valley in Norway. In 2007, a group of teachers, students, and scientists established a science camp in Norway to study the phenomenon. On a clear night, Bjorn Jihok managed to take this pic using an exposure time of 30 seconds. The analysis of the spectrum reveals the object to be made of silicium, iron, titanium, and scandium. Pyramid on the Moon This photo was taken by Apollo 17 near the Geophone Rock, during the last flight to the Moon, and it was listed as a blank in the Apollo 17 photographic index. The photo certainly suffers from extreme light exposure and noise issues. But it's in fact not completely blank, as adjusting the contrast reveals pyramid-like structures. The Solway Firth Spaceman May, 1964 On May 23, 1964, Jim Templeton, a firefighter from Carlisle, Cumberland, now part of Cumbria, took three photographs of his five-year-old daughter while on a day trip to Berg Marsh. Templeton said the only other people on the marshes that day were a couple of old ladies sitting in a car at the far end of the marsh. In a letter to the Daily Mail in 2002, Templeton stated, I took three pictures of my daughter Elizabeth in a similar pose, and was shocked when the middle picture came back from Kodak displaying what looks like a spaceman in the background. Templeton insists that he did not see the figure until after his photographs were developed, and analysts at Kodak confirmed that the photograph was genuine. The Hook Island Sea Monster People nowadays assume that this image is a Photoshop job unique to the digital age, whereas in fact it's a classic, much reproduced image, widely discussed in the cryptozoological literature, and first appearing in print in March 1965, together with others. It's Robert L. E. Sarek's photo of a huge, tadpole-like creature encountered in Stonehaven Bay, Book Island, Queensland. The story. In Germany, 1922, the murders of six people at the Hinterkaffeck farmstead shocked the nation. This wasn't just because of the gruesome nature of the case, but also because the case was so incredibly weird, and it remains unsolved to this day. Over 100 people were interviewed in the murder, but no one was ever arrested. No motive was ever established as to explain the murders. The previous maid had left six months earlier, saying the home was haunted. The new maid arrived only hours before the murders. It is believed that the perpetrator, S, remained at the farm for several days, someone had fed the cattle, and eaten food in the kitchen, 
the neighbors had also seen smoke from the chimney during the weekend. This photo depicts one of the victims as he lay in the house barn. Possible explanation. The photo really isn't unexplained, the events did happen and the photo taken you see above is authentic. What's unexplained is the events that led up to it, and how it all went down. And please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.